I'm an Eastmore High School graduate, and I've seen, I was there at Eastmore when I worked underneath Jim Miranda, and even then, we were unable to be Afrocentric, and it just feels fantastic to win and to cut that 141 win streak. And congratulations to Will McKinney, um, Afrocentric in their success, but I am so happy to be a warrior tonight. You said before even one basket was made this year that you thought your girls had what it took to yes, okay. beat Afrocentric. Yes. Why had, um, did you think that? They're so tough. They're tough. And I've run these girls through their paces. Like I said, there's times that we have practiced seven days a week. We started in the summer, running on the track, hitting the stadium out by the football field. We hit, we've hit the weight room, we watch film, and they have worked hard. And one of the things I love being able to say to them is, you have not worked this hard to lay down and not win tonight. You've just worked hard. If you just work hard, you can be successful. And they were. And now the coach's next big task is to get these girls down to earth after 24 hours. <laughs> Absolutely. I did give them off practice tomorrow. They're happy about that. But we've got more work to do. We've got to play Johnstown. We have Hathaway Brown coming up. We've got a state tournament to prepare for. So it's back, uh, back to work.